Hey, Nick Tawny here. Really quick, let's just discuss some of the parts that um, I gave a shit about. I'm sure there are people that are going to be covering this way more in depth. That was pretty funny. Xena Chakram? If your disease becomes known, you will be banished. The funny part is they called it a disease, and I'm wondering if it is like... Maybe something happened where it's now she's turning into Tarkatan, or maybe it was always she had like a little bit of like a strain of Tarkatan, and it just whatever like triggered it to awaken and sort of mutate. And I'm gonna guess that maybe Tarkatans, if they were going with like the Baraka thing, if they won like a feud, um, Tarkatans are not allowed in Adinia or something, some shit like that. Um, or maybe they don't even know what, like maybe this is before where, uh, fucking. Um, like, in this timeline, maybe Outworld never took a Dania, so maybe it's more of, like, a... They never have seen a Torcotton or something? I'm not... I, now, keep in mind, this this seems like they're rewriting a lot of things. I mean, their quote was, seeing characters as they've never been seen before, which I think we've kind of done a few times. Like, that fucking... I'm not even going to get into the Sindel part of it, but... um, The, uh, the uh, part of this is interesting because they could always go about it like she's always had the Tarkatan thing and just suppressing it so they could maybe follow like maybe her rage comes from more of the suppression of of self but then they could also see it as like a disease of like something that's going to like make her quote unquote evil I use that loosely um but that was an interesting take because they could go many routes with it and it could also put Kitana looking like the evil part for suppressing the Tarkatan aspect of it so it really could show the gray areas of this dynamic but um we shall see another part of this um i'm not sure if anyone noticed um although we had like the uh the showcase of um the original uh yeah i could slow it down there we go so right here mk3 sonia i mean you got goro um So I'm gonna guess right here. That was I'm gonna I'm gonna hope at least. So it looked like what you did, like that that swoop up was very reminiscent of um the second attack of her forward Y combo in MK um nine, which does the uplift. But this looks like pretty kick to me. This fan clearly has the MK eleven strange ass up throw fan but it has like the swirly thing of like going around like jades did for her glaive so i'm gonna guess maybe this replaces fan lift because this literally is a fan lift i do like this um this is very reminiscent of um i think that the mk um versus dc had something like that with the air combat um but also, um, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, which was not my favorite, it added the aerial combat. This I'm really happy about. This, this Melina confirm kick, instead of just being a kick and then pop down, um, I'm really liking the fact that it actually goes through. I could see setup potential, especially if, like, you're at plus frames, and then, like, start to, like, yeah, like, do stuff like that, or even if they're on block, like, grab them and shit. And I'm also happy to see that they... Uh, okay, so let's talk about Melina's stance. So this stance, despite the fact that, like, I know she's moving, but um, how she's holding it, I like that her sides are out. But I also like how it's almost like MK2, because she had that, like, stance of, like, one arm down, one arm curved, sort of like that. So it's uh, the MK2 part of it kind of is what struck me. At least we know what the bottom half of Katana looks like now. So they kind of kept the costumes pretty close, but just gave the tops a little bit of a difference. It's it has like a menacing sense up here, and it's I don't know. It just it it it, it fits. I do I do like it. But yeah, know that. That'll be interesting. I'm wondering how they're gonna plan that out. Is this the living forest? Well, I don't know what's going on here, but. It looks like a, it looks like the, oh my god, this is probably the living forest, just, I have very, why, is that a baby face in the back? 
Okay, this is probably the Living Forest, but I'm gonna guess that maybe this is like before it all like went to shit. I'm gonna guess that there is the like a flawless block right here, or it's a parry. But I'm gonna guess because that, that had like a third strike vibe for me, like for the fucking like perfect uh, block kind of shit. But for the most part, um, yeah, no, I just wanted to do this really quick and just show off. Um, I mean, really, this is all I cared about to be honest. Uh, I was looking, I was looking up and down for any signs of the other female cast, especially like Jade. But, yeah. I don't know what to expect for, like, the cast. Sort of, like, who, I mean, clearly these are probably going to be my mains again, like, in every other Mortal Kombat. Well, I mean, except I believe, I, I did play Tanya in MK4. Um, but, yeah. Um, this is Nick Tana. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, have a great week.